I am Keith Taggart. I'm 62 years old. I am a real estate broker. I manage a real estate sales office with about 60 real estate agents. Prior to my diagnosis, I'd noticed a lump in my cheek. It was about the size of a pea. And so really didn't know what it was and decided to see my doctor about it. About a week later is when he called me back to his office. He told me that it was cancer. That's all I heard. I didn't hear anything else the doctor said. On the drive home is when it started hitting me. And then, then I started having the questions. I didn't know what was next, what to expect. Still in the back of it though, I thought that this is just saliva gland cancer. You know, I, I have lots of saliva glands and I can sacrifice them all if I need to. I did pursue the treatments here locally in Oklahoma City, and that started off with a surgery to remove a margin of safety, the tissue from my face. And then after the surgery, he wanted to schedule me for seven weeks of radiation. Before I actually finished my radiation treatments, I noticed new lumps growing in my cheeks, which was a sign to me of additional tumors. So I went back to my doctor. He said, yes, these are tumors, and they did more surgery. Uh, by the time I went for follow-up from that surgery, I was growing more tumors on the other side of my face. And then ultimately decided to transfer to MD Anderson in Houston. Right off the bat, I had surgeries at MD Anderson in Houston, and they scheduled me for radiation a second time. By the time I finished up radiation, I was getting more lumps. And that's when my doctor said, Keith, we're gonna have to test you, your whole body, because this, your cancer has spread out of control. And they ran the CAT scans. And he came back and said, the, the cancer has moved to your lungs and your liver and your kidneys. I was totally shocked. I was called back into my doctor and he said, we're gonna to have to go a different direction. The cancer's growing so fast that I can't keep up with it with surgery. So I'd like for you to see a chemotherapist. I met with her about two hours later and she had reviewed my file already and she said, Keith, um, she said, if you're willing to go through chemotherapy, I've got some treatment, it will make you very sick. But she said, if you're willing to do that, I can buy you another three or four weeks. That's what brought it all together. I had just found out that this cancer was in my lungs and my liver and my kidneys. And then two hours later, I find out I have three or four weeks left to live. She said, now one more thing. She said, I did notice one pathology report that noted some genetic issues. There is a clinical trial for a new drug here at MD Anderson they're looking for patients that have this particular genetic issue. Would you consider taking part in a clinical trial? Well, uh, yes, of course I would. That's how I started taking this drug, Lyrotrectinib. This drug is a single pill. It's a simple capsule that I would take once in the morning and once at night, and it did not make me sick. It was amazing. I could tell there were tumors that I could feel with my fingers, in my neck, in my face, in my chest. After four days, I couldn't feel those tumors anymore. At the end of four weeks, all of my tumors were gone, except one, and it shrank by 65%. Every one of us knows someone that has cancer. The only way that we're going to find the answers is through funding the research. We have to have the laboratories and all of the testing done, and that, that costs money, so it has to be funded. 